This is how Mona Lisa would look like in real life. No wait, this is how Mona Lisa would look like. Hmm, no, I think I actually made a mistake. Is it this one? Hmm, wait a second. So which one is it really? What is actually happening? Let me introduce you, Pauls. It is a self-supervising photo of sampling via latent space exploration of generative models. And that blob I just said is basically meaning we are upscaling images today. So we are not doing it in the- His glasses. There's a reflection. That's the Nuevita's baseball team. But instead, relying on StyleGAN a face generation AI that is currently top tier. How it works is Pulse takes in an input, downscale it, and StyleGen also generates another face and downscale it. Then, it compares each other and StyleGen repeatedly adjusts the face before downscale, and until the downscale results looks exactly or nearly the same as Pulse input. In a nutshell, the Pulse input is open for StyleGen's interpretation. If there are any minor differences, StyleGen's downscale result may still generate the same 32 times 32 image. This is because a low resolution image contains way less information than a high resolution one. So naturally, it doesn't matter if it's enhancing or matching like Pulse, there will always be an inaccuracy. So basically, there are two ways I found interesting to use for this AI. First, it is a great way to upscale realistic pixelated faces. The best example out there is the Doom Guy's face. When you put it into Pulse, it may not always be the same result, but it is a pretty cool general depiction of how he will look like. But you have to keep in mind that the pixelated face itself has to be a realistic face and without any unusual wares, or else you may create a monstrosity like this. Second, generating real faces from non-human faces or illustrated is possible. It just has to be somehow realistic, that's all. Like famous paintings or portraits that were aimed to portray someone realistically. Like the Mona Lisa you just saw. This does kind of show how they look like, but technically if the portraits are like full-on accurate, then maybe this is not a good depiction of how they would look like. But anyways, it still gave some pretty fascinating results. In some cases, you you can still see that the AI failed to pick up the hairs though. My guess is that the dataset does not contain a lot of people with these kind of hairstyles, so the AI kind of just missed it because it wasn't trained upon these kind of hairstyles. For illustrated faces like anime and games, we have ourselves Jojo, Dio, Jin. Is this? landscape and Ryu from Street Fighters. Interestingly, female features would make the guests by style get more feminine. So there are more earrings or more red lips for Dio. <laughs> I guess Dio is just too pretty, not even the AI can resist. The results that I'm most proud of are the results from Legend of the Galactic Heroes since they were drawn really really realistically and so the results turn out really well. Overall, this Pulse AI is a great implementation of style again, but keep in mind though it does not work like those enhanced BS from movies, it's just a way of taking guesses. If you want to play around it yourself, I have made an installation tutorial on my section channel, I will link it down in the description. Join my discord if you haven't, follow me on twitter and I'll see you all next time.